Together we are going to complete a total intake problem. This particular problem is dealing with concurrent infusions. We'll read the problem. Mrs. K is receiving an antibiotic mixed in a secondary bag of 50 milliliters every six hours. The patient also has a maintenance IV infusing at 100 milliliters per hour. If the secondary bag is running concurrently with the maintenance IV each time, how much total IV fluid will the patient receive in a 24-hour period? Let's talk about what it means for an IV to be running concurrently. The maintenance fluid is the large bag of fluid. The maintenance fluid is running for the full 24 hours. I'm using the blue pen to indicate the maintenance fluid running through the IV tubing and into our patient. When an IV is run concurrently, it means that the secondary bag, the small bag of medication, infuses along with the maintenance fluid. This would be our secondary or medication IV. Every six hours we will infuse one complete bag of the medication. When we infuse the medication, I'm using the red pen to trace the medication, we will infuse it along with the maintenance fluid. So we will not stop the maintenance fluid, but both IVs will be running together or concurrently. When we're dealing with a total intake problem, the focus of the problem is understanding the context. There is some math to do, but even the math is based on the context. I'm going to go through the word problem and underline important details. The first detail that we're given is that the secondary bag of 50 milliliters is given every six hours. Second, the maintenance IV is infusing at 100 milliliters per hour. Very important to this problem is that they're run concurrently, infusing together and we're asked to figure out the fluid for a 24-hour period. To solve this problem, I need to figure out how much fluid the patient will get from the maintenance IV bag and how much fluid the patient will get from the secondary bag. Adding those two amounts together will give me the total. First, we will work with the secondary bag. Because we are working with a 24-hour time period and it is to be given every 6 hours, we can take 24 divided by 6 and calculate that they will receive 4 doses of the medication in the secondary bag or 4 bags of the medication. Each individual bag is 50 milliliters, so we'll take the four bags times the volume, which is the 50 milliliters, to calculate that the total amount for the secondary bag is 200 milliliters. Next, we'll take a look at the maintenance fluid. For the maintenance fluid, the IV is running 100 milliliters per hour for the entire 24 hours. So the patient is going to receive 100 milliliters each hour and that will continue for a full 24 hours. I set this up somewhat like dimensional analysis, although truly all I am doing is multiplying. And so from the maintenance fluid, we will receive a total of 100 times 24, or 2,400 milliliters. 
Since this is a total intake, we'll add these two amounts together, and the total intake for the day is 2,600 milliliters of IV fluid.